it continued to strengthen all the way up until landfall. And in fact, if it had another six to maybe 12 hours, it maybe could have reached category five. Uh, the most intense, the strongest winds occurred uh, on the front side where we saw uh, peak gusts of 140, uh, even another uh, peak gust 150 miles an hour were measured uh, at 10 meters uh, during the storm. The storm did stall and meander once it moved up over Goliad County. Uh, and then it kind of slowly moved back out over the Gulf of Mexico and then made a second landfall again over the, along the upper Texas coast. Uh, and so it just kept focusing uh, the heavy rain bands over those same areas across southeast Texas for days and days uh, and days. And so that is the re result of the, the record rainfall. Rockport 911, what's the address of the emergency? Am I going to survive this? That's all I need to know, really. I think you I, are. I have my water, I have my food. I, I think have, you'll be fine. Oh, the front of the trailer just blew up. I don't know uh, anybody that this storm didn't affect in the 911 center. One certain call, one certain person that they spoke to, they all get to you at some point. My nine minute or eight minute call to that one guy in the FEMA trailer off of 188 stuck with me. Everything went kind of quiet, but you could still hear, hear the roar and uh, the house tipped a couple of times and then it just started raising up. And about a four count is what I counted. One and one thousand, two and one thousand, three and one thousand, four and one thousand. The house dropped. He, he started hollering. He said, oh my God, what is that? And looked out there window, and the whole cove was swirling. We was in a tornado. I've seen some bad things in my life. Uh, I, I was in Vietnam in 1968, but I've never seen anything like this. And when, it, when it's your home, it, it's devastating, even more de devastating. Uh, when it's your community, it's, uh, it's heartbreaking. Uh, we know that someday it's going to happen, and it did. Uh, we've been calling for this someday for 47 years, and uh, it finally happened. And it was a bad one. It was not a, just a typical hurricane. It was a very bad, catastrophic hurricane. We're scarred bad. Uh, really, really bad. We've had we've had some other major hurricanes, Celia, Beulah, and the bat in the past, but we've got scars that's going to be with us for years. Our primary goal through the Stafford Act is to get people into safe, sanitary, secure environments, and we are working diligently with the state to get that in place. It's not a quick and easy fix. When they say it's life changing, they're right. We'll rebuild and we'll be stronger will be better, but it's going to take years to do it.